Good, sound good, feel good. Sound good, feel good. XM5s. We are ready to do our comparison between the Sony XM5s and the AirPods Maxes. I've had a whole day or two days with the AirPods Maxes and I'm not gonna lie, I'm in love. I feel something very special between me and the AirPods Maxes. But listen, we're not settling, okay? Ooh. First impressions, that's got some weight to it. That feels really quality. And I just love the packaging actually. I mean, Ambi, the packaging on the AirPods Max are also really nice, except I got mine secondhand, so I didn't get any of that part of the experience. Let's unbox these bad boys and do a little bit of a test to see how they sound compared to the AirPods Maxes. I'm really excited to get a little like, you know, flavor of how the XM5s sound versus the AirPod Maxes. Now that I've had them for like a day and I've had the chance to get used to them. The AirPods Maxes feel great. They definitely do. They feel, how do you open this? Ooh, guys, look at that. This case is like, is gorgeous. The detail, the gold zipper. Oh my God. It has this little card on it. I guess I'm supposed to scan that QR code then push some very large button and then my phone should connect to it. I had headphones connect, download the app and set up the headset. Cool. I knew it was gonna take another app because it's not an Apple product, so that's totally fine. I did have these like jobber headphones at one point that had their own app. It was a little bit annoying, you know, like Apple's really good at locking us into the continuity feature where you can just like it just automatically connects to all your devices because not having a device that does that does feel a bit like a step back. But listen. Oh, oh they look so good. These, no, these look really, these look really beautiful, honestly. Very light, like much lighter than the AirPods Max is already. And can I just say like, I appreciate the fact it comes with a real case. You know, like if I keep the AirPods Maxes, I'm gonna have to buy a case off of Amazon. That feels like just an extra step that was unnecessary. Like you already spent this money, this, this much producing the thing, you could give us a case. But this comes with a nice, foamy, soft case. And I love how it's like molded. So you just boop, zip it up and go. Sony's winning it in some categories right now. The look is not as sleek, right? I don't hate it. I'm not gagging, but I don't hate it. Let's let's rate. Which one do you guys think looks better, right? Which one looks more like, you know what I'm saying? Which one looks better? You feel me? You let me know in the comments. One of the things I will say that I already like more about the AirPods Maxes is you can't remove the cups on the Sony XM5s. I had a pair of Beats before and one of the things I wished I could have done was remove the cups because sometimes, especially if you wear them to work out or if you're sweaty in the summertime, it could be really hot in London. The, tr the tube here, hella hot, you know? And if condensation accumulates in here, it's just like a breeding ground, right? And it's so totally harder to clean. Whereas I think the AirPods Maxes, because of these removable cups, you could actually A, get replacement cups, which is something I'm considering doing with these, and B, you can just take them out, clean them, air dry them, and then everything's kind of fine. That is definitely one feature that I would prefer, that I prefer on the AirPods Maxes. But these have a really nice feel to them, really nice weight, they look great. They're, you know, a very like nude, sort of like neutral aesthetic, which I love. So I'm just gonna have to give them a test run and see how they go. IRL, you feel me? Okay, the app has been downloaded. Turn on the power of the headphones. Do I press and hold or do I just press? Let's try press and hold. There we go. Blue light. Remember, when, remember how I said in my last video that like my iPhone just knew that there were AirPod Maxes near me and asked me if I wanted to connect? It is amazing. And this is taking quite a while. There's still nothing on my phone. It did say it might take a while for something to pop up. But like when it says that, I don't actually want it to. Oh, we got it. App not installed. The accessory Sony's headphone uses an app you don't have installed. Would you like to get it from the app store? Um, sure. I thought that's the one that I had. This setup process is long. 
Okay, so this was like a 360 audio feature. It like shows you what it sounds like with normal audio. Sorry, I'm probably yelling. <laughs> Normal audio versus 360 reality audio it seemed kind of cool. Available music apps for 360 reality audio though are only these and I only use Spotify. So I can't even use that feature. Cool, 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 cool. Do you want to skip 360? Yes. Thanks for reminding me that I'm too broke for title. They have a whole app. Love that there is an equalizer in the app as well. So I'm testing the, the different settings on the EQ. That's nice, right? Excited, excited got bass. Okay, the Sonys have bass though. I think these might sound better. I think these might sound better. Oh right, and these are touch sensitive. Volume up, volume down. That's cool. I think next, next song. The touch controls are pretty cool. I really like them actually. I heard some critiques on them. Some other folks were saying they're like, not that good or a little bit too sensitive. I quite like them so far. For on the AirPods Maxes, when you have noise canceling on and off, you know it. Like it's a very, it's pretty extreme because the microphones are taking in the sounds so that you can hear it. It's transparency. I just turned the noise canceling off and, or I'll put it to ambient sound and I can't hear myself any better than when I have a noise canceling on. my god guys this is a very hard decision <laughs> i fear that i have gotten myself into a dilemma I, what i'm gonna do is take the sony's for a walk like i did yesterday with the airpod maxes and kind of see how they are in a real life environment i might even use both of them for like a week and just really get a sense of like which one i like better because right now i don't know i they just they're just perfect in different ways these are gorgeous these are gorgeous and these are gorgeous too. These sound sick, not gonna lie. These feel sick, you know what I mean? Feel good, sound good, feel good. All right guys, I mean, that's, that's my review so far. I'm also gonna play around with some more of these features on the Sony because there are quite a lot of features. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. That helps so much and it would be so, so, so amazing. I literally, it makes my day every single time I see one little from one of you guys. So yeah, I hope I see you in the next video. Bye.